Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. Today we're going to talk about asylum, how much it costs and how long does it take. Even though the current administration has reduced the number of asylees allowed in the U.S. every year since 2016, it is still a valid way to obtain your green card. In fiscal year 2019, USCIS found that 72,252 applicants met the credible fear standard in their application process. You've probably heard my story, but if you haven't, I want to share it with you. My name is Andres Mecher. I'm an immigration attorney. My family immigrated to the U.S. when I was a child. We came here with visas and we hired an attorney. Two years later and $5,000 later, they did absolutely nothing for us. They said they were going to help us get their green cards and they did nothing. We lived without legal status for almost a decade. I decided to become a U.S. citizen and an attorney to help people like my family. I'm committed to helping 5,000 families in the next five years get legal status. My office does everything it can for the clients we have the privilege of serving as if we're helping our own family members. I consider each of my clients to be part of my family, which is huge now because we've helped almost 4,000 people pursue their dream of legal status. Calificas para ser legal, quieres saber, solo llama al abogado Andrés Mejer. How much will your asylum cost and how long will it take? It's the question everybody asks. As of today, August 24th, 2020, there is no fee to file Form I-589 for asylum, withholding removal, or cat relief. That is changing October 2nd, 2020. Also, if you apply after today, you must use the new form I-589 that you can find on the USCIS website. Make sure you use the properly dated form or your application will be rejected and your date of receipt will not start until USCIS receives the correct application, which could put you outside the one-year time limit. The rule for asylum seekers to obtain an EAD card, employment authorization, also has changed. It goes into effect tomorrow, August 25th. It is very important that you understand how this law will impact you and your stay in the United States. If you need help understanding this for your particular situation, we recommend you consult with an immigration attorney. We can only provide general advice in these videos. The biggest change is that asylum seekers cannot apply for work authorization until 365 days after their asylum application is received by USAF. It's gone from 150 days to a whole year. There is also the chance you will be denied an, an employment card if you have illegal entry or certain criminal convictions under the new rule. I do suspect that there will be changes, challenges to this rule, but for now it's still going into effect. When we evaluate your case, we start with three questions and we create a plan for you before we accept you as a client. We only take on clients we can help. One, do you qualify for a green card through asylum? Two, is there something in your past that can disqualify you, like multiple entries, prior denied petitions, criminal charges, removal proceedings? And three, can we fix that problem through a motion to reopen, post-conviction relief, or a waiver? Because we focus on those three questions, two clients who both are filing for asylum might have very different costs. In general, here's how we charge fees whether you are filing for asylum or for your green card through asylum. We first review your background. We typically charge $1,000 per person to do the following. One, order through a four-year process uh, all your immigration documents from seven different agencies. We're looking for prior border contacts, any deportations, or any prior petitions. Secondly, do we need to order copies of your criminal or juvenile courts and do a background search from the FBI? Basically, if you've ever been arrested, we want to find out who it's from, what happened, and get those dispositions. If there is something that makes you ineligible, once we get the results from immigration and we get the results from the FBI and from the courts, we then say, okay, there's something that makes you ineligible. Now we, we look at how can we fix it. And, and maybe it's a waiver, or maybe it's a reopening criminal case. Uh, maybe it's reopening a removal order or refiling for relief. Post-conviction relief motions are the most common and those costs really vary from $3,000 to $15,000. It depends on the severity of the charges that you face. Once you file Form I-589, you may have a hearing before an asylum officer on an affirmative asylum claim. You don't get this option if you are in removal proceedings. We strongly encourage you to bring an attorney with you because if you are denied, you will be placed into removal proceedings. We typically charge between four to $5,000 to attend the hearing with you. We treat it like a trial. 
If you are in removal proceedings, then we charge you $1,500 to go with you to each court appearance in New York, New Jersey, or Philadelphia. If you have multiple family members who have court on the same day before the same charge, we only charge one fee. If you are in removal proceedings, you will ultimately have a trial before the judge on your Form I-589 claim. We typically charge between $5,000 and $6,000 depending on the complexity of the issues we're handling for you. Once your asylum is approved, after one year, you'll be able to file for your green card through Form I-485. We typically charge between four dollars to $5,000 to file for your green card. You may also have an interview with a USCIS officer. You shouldn't have to, but under the Trump administration, it's become common, and we charge $1,500 to go with you to an interview in New Jersey, New York, or Philly. Whether it's a jail visit, whether it's a court appearance, or whether it's an, an appearance at, at an administrative agency, it's all about half a day's work, and that's why we charge the same price, $1,500 for all three. As you can see, each one of these has a cost. It's for that reason that my assistants can't give you a price on the phone. It requires the knowledge and experience to figure out the answers to one, two, and three, and then put a price to it. However, we do offer a variety of discounts and ways to pay your legal fees. If you pay in full, we give you a discount. We also give discounts for repeat customers. So if we help you with all three steps, or if we help you with prior applications, we give you an additional discount. The more money you bring with you to your consultation, the higher the possibility of getting a discount on your immigration case. We give your case the priority that you do. So the sooner you pay for in full, the sooner it gets filed. We typically need several weeks once we've had all the documents, you've answered all our questions, and you've paid in full on your case. The more money you can bring to start it, the lower your payment plan will be, and the faster your case will be filed. How long does this process take? As of August 2020, it's taken up to four years for someone to obtain asylum status. In September 2019, there were over 300,000 asylum cases pending with USCIS, and that number has only grown. In April 2020, there were over a million open removal cases in immigration court. Most granted asylum cases have taken over three years to process. Once your application is received by USCIS, you will receive a notice of receipt. The date they received it will be very important, so keep hold on to it. Uh, you will need to review it as you determine when you can apply for employment authorization. Remember, as of August 25th, 2020, any application received must wait 365 days before applying for employment authorization. You will have an interview with USCIS. This may be scheduled in six months of filing, but it's not unusual to have to wait two or three years after your application is received. After your interview, you will receive notice if you are approved or denied. If you are approved, you can apply for your green card one year later. You can then apply to become a citizen after being a green card holder for five years. This is a difficult time for every immigrant to the U.S. It seems like this administration is making it harder and harder for those seeking for asylum. If you think you may qualify, please contact our office. We will work with you. If you don't qualify, we can help you determine your next best steps, including looking at the possibility of other legal status. We have often found relief for our clients when other attorneys said there was no hope. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to see our other videos when they are released. Until next time, stay safe and well.